All right, coming up next, it is our main event, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight title. All right, here's the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held down by this young woman, the reigning defending. Undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, five losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, Holly, the preacher's daughter. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 10 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Brasilia, Distrito Federal, Brazil. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Round one, the classically trained striker versus the decorated grappler. A lot of people have compared this matchup to Amanda Nunes versus Ronda Rousey, and I think it's probably an appropriate comparison. Yes, it's very appropriate, because you remember, Amanda was always creating space and never being where Ronda expected her to be. So she needs to do the same thing. She's such a high-level striker. She has such a diverse array of skills in the striking that if her opponent, a jiu-jitsu fighter, at her core, cannot get her hands wrapped around her, she's in for a very long night. with that punch. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown deal? You gotta check these low leg kicks. They're certainly getting after it early. Big head kick lands. 
That's a beautiful jab by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. If you fight behind such a beautiful jab, eventually you drop the right hand. Good night. Oh, nice jab. And she connects there. Double leg. Stuffed. Big knee lands there. Try to establish that jab. Again, she chooses to clinch here. And they separate. Powerful leg kick land. What a punch. She lands the head kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. So just over 20 total strikes have connected for Holly Holm. Right hand punch. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Big kick. Wow. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, big elbow. They're going at it now. Back in the clinch now. Big kick lands. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Holly Holm. Leg kick. Another nice kick by her there, and as a lot of fighters will say, no pad on the foot. No pad on the foot and no shin guard. Kick land. Oh, straight right. Oh. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Ooh, big shot land. There's no give on that leg kick. Right hand punch to clinch. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open as you will dig, big, brutal knees to the body. You really limit the mobility of your opponent. Just missed with the left there. Big kick lands. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect, though. Good stick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. It looks like maybe she'll go to the hook here. She does, and she lands. She throws this punch so efficiently. She has no wasted action on this technique. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. All right, here we go with our next round. I know you said off the top she might have the best kicking game in this division. And if the previous round is any indication, those words, I think, are pretty true. John, honestly, watching after that round, it feels like she may have the best kicking game in the whole UFC. Wow. Because her opponent has not been able to see or stop any of them. Why would she not continue down this path? Oh, nice right hand. 
All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter, you're successful. Let those combinations string together. Look at the turtles in that kick. Holmes' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Well, she went to the straight left, unable to connect. That uppercut is good. Oh, big left! Body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Holly Holm. Nice loop and punch. And they separate. Nice body. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Straight punch, and now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Way to hide that leg kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Big head kick lands. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice punch. Well, you gotta think at this stage of things, there is a wide margin on the judges' scorecard. She has landed a ton of significant strikes in what is her best performance today. This is the best we've ever seen her look. She did a great job of fighting at her pace, dictated control in all of the exchanges, and she landed punches in one. Man, that hurts to watch as she continues to punish her opponent's body here in this round. Holly Holmes' kick to the body is blocked. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice kick. Visibly limping here. She gets to her spot. The tide clinch. And then she starts to let the knees fly. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Oh, she blocks the punch. Big leg kick land. And just misses with that big right hand. Again, back into this position. Nice. Right back in the clinch. Look for the back hand to get very active. Trying to kick the leg out. to her striking game tonight. She is staying busy in a nice series of punches again there. She's in a great flow state. The hands are flowing, the head movement's going. She's doing a fantastic job. You love that flow state. I love it. Great punch. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let us now get you some highlights. Man, her body kicks were on point in that previous round. She got to do exactly what she wanted. She said to us on Thursday in the fighter meeting, 
I am going to kick her in the body until her hands start to drop. Then I'm going to go over the top. First phase of her plan is complete. Can she find the head kick to end the night? All right, here we go. Next round is underway. And how about her kicking game in the previous round? My boy. She is so good at just blasting kicks with no regard for what's coming back at her. She's not worried about the counter. She will check a reverse kick. She always... She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Well, she lands another the strike to the body here, and the percentages in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a lot of that earlier on, making up for lost time here. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, what a punch. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's going to be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's going to control the engagement from this 50-50? And scrambled eggs. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. She is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. She blocked the punch. Man, she can hardly stand on a step behind before when she was fresh. How do you think she feels now that she's barely able to step on that leg? Oh! Huge kick to the head. Man, she is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish the fight. She landed a flush knee to the body there, DC. She's the taller fighter in this equation, and that certainly helped her cause there. Well, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, what you're gonna see with this young lady, is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, oh! Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Big kick land. Another clinch position. She lands a switch knee. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh, no! And there's a takedown attempt by her there, DC, but she's unable to get it. She's unable to get it. Her opponent is ready and expecting the attempt. She has to mix it up. She has to trick her. Go to a different shot if she's gonna secure this takedown. Nice, one shot. Again, back into this position. Beautiful leg kick. Forward. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issues. So again, they will clinch. Whoa! She is such a diverse striker that that is it looks like she's gonna finish the fight. It's broken, I think. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. Hold it now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Switching stances here. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Get the inside leg kick. Hold it now. Could be the beginning of the end, Chad. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. 
19 seconds remain in the round. Oh, she continues. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. Hold it now. Could be the beginning of the engine. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round, and we'll see how she deals with this cut on her cheek. It is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. I guess that goes without saying. The cut man will try to nip it in the bud and prevent it from becoming more of a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the head kick, but was very close to getting the job done there for good in that round. She's so patient. She's never going to overextend herself. She's never going to rush. She's never going to force anything. She will always stay exactly in her pocket. She will stay exactly in her rhythm. She believes that eventually the finish will come. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round. And she does not seem to be slowing down. There's no tell on that leg kick. Man, her striking looks clean tonight, timing on point. Her timing's on point, her accuracy's on point. She's very busy, she's in a good flow. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All the damage to that leg is full. You see her limping a little bit. with that big leg kick. There it is, take a shot now. Take a shot, there it is. Nice kick. Well, there she is in full celebration mode now after the TKO victory here tonight, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. And I'm not sure there's any 135er in the world right now that can beat this woman. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rivliano is going to stop in this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. So she is the new UFC Bantamweight champion, joining an illustrious list of former champions in this division, Misha Tate, Ronda Rousey, and she's on that list now. Right next to Amanda Nunes. I mean, you are now amongst the legends. Congratulations to the new UFC Women's Bantamweight champion.